So we need the formula for circumference, which is 2 pi r. And we also need the formula for um, the length of an arc, which is just the piece of a circle. Um, and that's whatever your angle is. That theta stands for your angle. Um, divided by 360 times the circumference. But instead of writing C for circumference, you could put the formula for circumference, 2 pi r. And you'll get that right there. Um, now, if this formula doesn't make sense to you, think about a circle that's cut into four pieces, um, where obviously the arc is going to be one-fourth of the entire circumference. Um, but one way you could have gotten that was by doing 90 out of the 360 is going to be one-fourth of the circumference. Um, another simple example is if you would have had 180, then you would have gotten one half, which would make sense because you would have a semicircle, which is one half of the length of the entire circle. Anyway, um, all we have to do is now plug in the 6 that they gave us for the length of the arc and also the 30 that they gave us for the angle. Um, and then we'll just have to solve it for r. So now we can simplify this. Um, 30 over 360 becomes 3 over 36. Um, 3 over 36 becomes 1 over 12. Um, now a 12 and a 2 can become a 6 downstairs. So let me just rewrite what we have. We have 1 over 6 times pi um, times r. And on the left side, we have 6. All right. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. So that way that 6 and that 6 cancel. So I got to make sure I multiply this side by 6. And I get 36 is equal to pi r. And now I have to divide both sides by pi. And that will just give me r is equal to 36 over pi.